We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. So the Bronx Bombers look to end this three game interleague series with a sweep next. Jay Happ will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch not necessarily an overpowering guy has an ERA in the low threes but one thing he knows how to do he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage if you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age you're doing a lot of things right and this guy should be fun to watch in this one at the plate Javier Baez and we are set for baseball here this evening underway now in the weekend finale as the first pitch is looked at for strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight guys they've run their win streak up to six in a row now and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah Matty this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock six in a row you have a chance to rattle off a seventh you start saying hey maybe something special is going to happen this summer. The one one home is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. And that misses two and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Stepping in now, David Bodie. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He'll come in here at 263, five homers and 28 RBIs. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Half. 37 years old. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. To me, when it's raining, the approach at the plate has to change a little bit, especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit. Put the ball in play any way possible, especially on the ground. Making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet. So these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Enters play here at 279. 17 home runs and 55 driven in. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. The one two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Bryant around first, heading for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. A pitch away from posting a zero in the first, and he makes a big mistake, and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base. Standing in, Wilson Contreras. He's currently fourth in the National League RBI race with a chance to add to that total here. And he's the best in that category on this ball club, guys. He's the guy they look to to bring him home.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Terrell Cotton will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Born in the islet of St. Thomas, this guy has a big arm. Mid to upper 90s fastball, his best off-speed pitch might be the changeup. One of the best kept secrets right now in the league. This guy is a quality pitcher. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And now pitch on the way. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four, you're just trying to salvage. Do the fundamental things right. Try and sneak out a couple wins, get on the plane, and get out of here. 2 0 oh now. Here it comes. Strike two. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Another payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. And that'll bring up Gliver Torres. Runner at first to start the inning. And Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. From the belt, the pitch. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And now he'll foul this one off as well. The fall behind here, no balls and two strikes. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in.
Fastball well outside. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0-2 to 3-2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Pitch home. Three. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Riding in, Giancarlo Stanton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set, and the pitch. Pitch out, nothing doing. Pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Gardner, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Two one home. Here's a look over to first. Danny yeah, has to dive, but he's back in easily. Runners on first with one down. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's going. Runner He's going. goes for second. Sharp ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. One ball, no strikes the count. Runners are at first and second with one away. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here he comes on 2 and 0. Oh. Outside, 3 and 0 oh now. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Here's the 3 0. Ball four. Ball four. I'll tell you, he's looked unsteady out there since the first pitch he threw. A couple of hits and a free pass, so he's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. The bases are loaded with only one out. Fouled off. Strike 
strikes, and now the 0-2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a 1-2 count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go then at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Two. Here it is. And it's fouled away. Two out. Bases loaded. One and two to DJ LeMay here. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. A high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. The set and the one-two. Lays off two and two now. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Bases are loaded here. Two down. He strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Yankees leave him loaded. We are still scoreless. Second inning coming up and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. All right, Heidi, thanks. We'll hope for the best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these players are probably going to be impacted by this weather at least a little. Yeah, Matty, 100 percent it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. They're going to have to maybe gather themselves to get that extra grip on the baseball. But from a position player standpoint, you just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1 and 0. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. These teams don't match up all that often, but due to interleague, they get a chance to play this season, and it's really difficult to sweep a team in a three-game series when you don't play that team all that often. Called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. And now Kyle Schwarber. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ballgame. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys 
throwing with increased velocity. They were knocking the ball out of the ballpark all day yesterday. They'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. A 1-1. Misses above the zone for a ball. Two balls, one strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Popped him up. LeMahieu has a play. Two down. So in now for Chicago, Steven Souza. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. First pitch fastball in there for a cold strike. Oh one. Here's the pitch. One and one. Drilled down the line, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Two out, nobody on. Hit in the air to shallow center. Gartner is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Giovanni Urshela set to lead off the home the half of the second. Number 29. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Set to deliver the 0-1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Nope. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The 2 1 home. Hit out towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. If you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's Miguel Andujar now, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The average coming in 257, nine homers, and 31 RBIs. The 1-0. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Pitch coming. Here it is. Ball left off. Slider laid off for a ball. The 1-0 home is looked at for ball number two. 
clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Down low and the plot thickens here three and oh. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. 3-0 pitch is in there for strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. He said, here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he fouls this one off. Two once more. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. To the plate now, Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball and a strike. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. The set and the 1 1 changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Two men are on with two men out. Sent on the ground out to second. Kipnis has it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Too complete. Still scoreless here on the show. Top of the third set to get underway, and in the bat next is Albert Almora. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. Almora with an even count two and two. Scorched to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. In the 
is the second baseman Jason Kipnis in past meetings with Jay Happ he's a 333 hitter. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. Third inning, no score to this point. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0 2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. Fouled away. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Back to the top of the order now and into bat next the versatile weapon Javier Baez. First pitch on its way. Outside that's the ball. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here it comes. Uh, got him on a good slider there swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight three up three down for the Cubs home half of the third coming up no score. As the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order, fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored, so it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. All right, Heidi, thank you. First pitch of the at-bat. Giancarlo Stanton is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one. Fouled off. Swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Hit down the line at first. 
but a foul ball one and one bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score one and two to the Yankees catcher this pitcher is bringing it with some high velo you better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you to two balls and two strikes now. The 2 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh, and one count and the pitch. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. That one across as the slider misses well inside. He pulls this one into right. Souza is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. From the stretch, there's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Now this is on the ground for Baez at short. On the Kipnis at second, and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, David Bodie. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Chris Bryant now. And so watch one miss down and in for a ball. One and oh. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. The 2 0. -oh. Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. And gone. An absolute bomb.
Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 18 for him on the campaign, and the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Riding in once again, Anthony Rizzo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pull side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Cubs are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Chicago. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Gio Urshela. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. The 0 1. Let's see if he tries to climb a ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. up and the 0-2 pitch now a ball lined toward the alley in left center and this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases and he will pull into second with a leadoff double man that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates they just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board but instead this guy blasts a leadoff double getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now and that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready now. The pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. swing and a fly ball and it's a foul ball slap hard the opposite way that gets down he's got himself a base hit throw into second but he'll get in there with an RBI double back to back doubles now and that's a great way to get an inning going the leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning if this continues. And 
that'll bring up Tyler Wayne. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 0 1 on its way. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Line drive base hit to right. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. The Chicago manager up out of the dugout now as he'll make the slow walk to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, not exactly sure why he's getting the hook as he's given up just one run, but nevertheless, he's on his way to an early shower. Alec Mills comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Here's Brett Gardner now. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. The one two in the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim. One away. Striding into the box. Torres. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Run seven hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to get into this guy, but there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. Three and oh now. situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job take inventory infield back get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield preferably off the corners and get your team away. the three and one pitch fouled off wide at first but boy that had some zip on it second and third here one man out And he 
misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done, force out anywhere now. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. He's set. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. Looking at his career totals, Stanton carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Delivery. One and one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. is thinking about making this a five run inning in a hurry. Hard hit ball to second. Taken in by Kipnis on to Rizzo and it's a double play. Side retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more Sunday night baseball following this. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time, they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. One and one to Schwarber. Very high, two and one. And the pitch. Two one pitch is a fastball swung out and missed two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Steven Souza will be next. 3 2 pitch. Breezes him. A strikeout looking. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball, so I think he wasn't expecting it at all. So now to the plate, Steven Souza as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Now the 2-0 -oh home. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Now with the plate, Albert Almora. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Ball one. Almora, a 25 year old, Ball is a five year vet at the major league level. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Now the 2 0. Is laid off, but in there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line to the right side. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Cubs are down in order. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. One ball, one strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Souza is there, one away. <laughs> Digging in, Mike Talkman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. The 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. That one's more like it, he says. Back to 2 and 1 now. Even now, two and two. One out, nobody on. Into center field, line drive base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Comes set and the 0 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. One ball, two strikes. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. One two is taken for ball two. The two two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Payoff 
pitch home. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one -one tie. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Gio Urshela, he doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Now the 1-0. Line to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar. And she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's one for two in this one. and he pops him up and I believe yes the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule wow talk about frustrating not what you want to do with the bases loaded a simple pop up and nothing productive comes out of that ready now Tyler Wade last time through was a base hit yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. First offering on its way. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Wade brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. It at one and one on the year Wade is slugging a little under the 400 mark so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good the set and the one one now a ball hit in the air and this looks like it'll get him out of it Almora is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded both teams battling the elements thus far but we've got a tight game through five we've got more on this Sunday night after this. Now at the plate Jason Kipnis he'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1 0. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. The 1 0. Oh. Kipnis, or Kip for short. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. The 3 1. Now that's popped up. And Duhar is under it. One out. Now that. 
Costa. Javier Baez. And that brings up Javi Baez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bases are empty, one man out. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. At the plate, David Bodie. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Takes this the other way to right. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit he's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Now it'll be the Cubs' DH. Chris Bryant, he gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Well located change up on that one as it catches the black for a called strike. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Hit high and deep to right center. Gardner's after it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Cubs strand one. Score remains tied one to one. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ryan Tapera enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 52, Ryan Tapera. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Brett Gardner. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Hunter low, 1 and 1. Now 
here's the pitch. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Now the two one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. The 2 2. Full count now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Digging in once again, Torres. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Pitch and a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. There to take it in is Kipnis, and there's one away. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and oh. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor 1-0. and oh. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. From the belt, the pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And a dive, but he's back. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the 0 1. And there's ball one. Two out with the man at first. This is foul right side.
grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble that a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One left for the Yankees. Still tied one apiece. Zach Britton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. Already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Contreras in front, two balls and no strikes. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 and 0. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. One down. The next cub up, Anthony Rizzo. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. One and one the count of the Cubs first baseman. Ball two. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. One out nobody on. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's set and the pitch. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. All tied at one and one. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander Craig Kimbrell.
Next for New York, Mike Talkman. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball laid off well below the knees. certainly did it's a ball and a strike and he fouls this one off Kimbrell is a guy known for his lights out stuff he tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate however he does at times get wild Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. The one-two. Hit very well to right. This one's hammered and it's going to go. That one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. Take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. One oh count. Here it is. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. The 2 1. Count of 3 1. Gio Urshela waits on deck. Strike two, swinging. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. One one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now. One and two. The 
job going down and hanging with it that time. The one two and he chased it in the dirt. Contreras corrals it and he makes the throw to first. Urshela is retired two down now. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Standing in, Miguel Andujar. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one. Ball one. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And now pitch on the way. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him. But when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. Three and oh now. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. He loses him on ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One out. A runner on first with two away. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Contreras finds it, and the throw to first ends the inning. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Seven complete here tonight. Two to one, New York. Green will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Stepping into the box, Steven Souza. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Strike one to start the at bat. The Yankees leading by the slimmest of margins late in this one and trying to hang on and earn the series sweep. One of the keys if you want to sweep a game is you're going to have to get some big outs in that seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. They're leading by a run as we're going towards the end of this game. Now it's time for the pitching staff to put this one under wraps. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force. 
coming to the ballpark hoping to witness a sweep and it looks pretty good at this point. Even count two balls and two strikes. They'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get to count your favorite and swing a pitch that bad? Not good. Full count. Three and two. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Three and two pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. So here's Albert Almora next. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. Still one and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Standing in now, Jason Kipnis. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the eighth. That misses 1 and 2. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. One two popped up and Duhar has got it and the side is retired three up three down for the Cubs they're down two one Wait, Rowan Wick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom now half of the eighth. The Chicago Cubs. Number 15. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner is working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one.
0 oh and 1. Here it comes. And that misses 1 and 1. Hit on the ground toward the left. Baez fields it cleanly. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. So now to the plate, Torres. A runner at first with no outs here. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Wick, a right-hander standing six foot three. He was a ninth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Looked like a breaking ball there, but it missed badly. Two and oh. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Fouled away. Oh, Lays off the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a three-one count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Side for a ball one and one. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. One two. He swung on and missed strike three. The Yanks leave one. They still lead it two to one. Oh, 
Dennis Chapman takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in the long ball threat, Javier Baez. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in, David Bodie. Here's the first pitch to him. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three year deal. One run game here in the top of the ninth. In the air out to straightaway left. Tuckman is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. are down to their final out now and into bat next former National League MVP Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year MVP. I mean get in line. A great job pounding his own strike one when you got a great hitter in the box you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh. One and this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And he gets the punch out as the Yankees finish the job and complete the series sweep of their rivals at home. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The New York Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Britton earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Aroldis Chapman records the save, his 19th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.